So, hi everyone. My name is Gary Howard. I'm a senior service transition manager with Connect Health. We're a large healthcare provider based up in the northeast of England, and I'm here today to talk about Physio and I, which is a digital uh, physiotherapy solution for, for musculoskeletal conditions. I'm a physiotherapist by background myself, but work more in, in operations and delivering new services now, which is probably to the betterment of my patients. Uh, and our bed project was working in conjunction with Comtap Morganic and Zoe Brewster Lair and John Davies at, at Hal Dahl. So you're probably wondering why an Irishman based up in the northeast of England is speaking to you today uh, about a technology solution. And, and like most things over the last 18 months, it's COVID related. So Life Sciences and Wales Government produced a digital solutions fund to help maintain services during the pandemic, and they were looking for technologically based solutions that, that could help them with that. We put forward Physios now, Physio now as one such solution uh, and got through the application process, and then they reached out to all the health boards across Wales and asked them if they would like to be involved. All but one did, and then we got partnered with, with the two health boards that we did. And we've been working with them on the pilot from August last year through to December, and we had over a thousand patients who, who went through the system. Now I just want to talk a little bit about what Physio Now is. So it's a chatbot which allows you to complete the, all aspects of uh, musculoskeletal physiotherapy assessment online. So I'll run you through the history taking part of the assessment and then uh, ahead of your appointment so that all the information is gathered. So how did your problem start? Uh, how long have you had it? Th those type of questions. You can self-refer using PhysioNow, so you don't need to see a healthcare professional before using it. It's available 24-7. Uh, it's digital, so as long as you've got internet access, you can use your phone, tablet, PC, you name it, just hook on and it'll guide you through it. And available in multiple languages to include Welsh. It's clinically led, so our senior clinical leadership team developed the decision making tree, which underpins all the questions within it. So there's over 3000 different scenarios that it can take you through. And by the end of that, you'll get an outcome. So be that perhaps an urgent uh, condition that, that doesn't need to be seen by physio, but is time sensitive and needs to be seen by a doctor or an A&E. Your more urgent physiotherapy conditions, so it might be because you've got high pain or off work at the minute, so you'll be prioritised based on those. Your more standard physiotherapy conditions, self-management aspects, so those conditions that could be managed more independently, and also those conditions that, that need to not come into a physiotherapy service, but go up to the next tier, perhaps to get an injection. So by the end, you'd be prioritised based on your needs rather than the date that you were referred in. And by doing that, we believe that we get it right first time or gift. So at the end of the outcome, you'll get to see the right person at the right time for, for your condition. So just going through those in sort of order. So we wanted to evaluate the impact that it would have on, on clinicians. And by that, we wanted to, to prove how safe and reliable Physio and I was. So if a patient went through physio and I and then went in to see a physio, did the physio agree on the other side that the outcome was correct for, for the patient? And we had 99.9% .9 agreement, and that's something that we've replicated across our services in England, where we use physio and I in over 20 services at the minute. We also then wanted to look at its impact for patients, and patients simply loved it with 82% positive friends and family tests. And the word graph on the right shows you some of the anonymized feedback that, that we got in relation to physio now, all very positive from patients. Uh, and the, the little bar graph on the bottom left there shows you some of the reasons for that. So it saves some people time uh, that they could spend at work or with family by not having to attend an appointment face to face. Uh, travel costs that are associated with that as well. And it's just generally more convenient for people when it's available all the time and you don't have to go anywhere to do it. Some of the more pertinent feedback that we got from, from patients. So the first one really helped us uh, with the ethos of, of the project, which was to maintain services and, and keeping them open so that, that patients could still be seen and get access to services. The second one sort of alludes to that point of just generally being more convenient with the bottom two showing that people really like it and see it as the future of physiotherapy services. And so do we, uh, by having a digital solution at the front end of your pathway, it can save a lot of time and get patients more efficiently and effectively into your service and manage better as a result of that. 
some of the more other interesting facts or stats that we, we find out during our, our pilot. So with a lot of technologically based solutions, you can be perceived as being uh, discriminatory against the elderly. But what we found in our pilot was that actually more people above the age of 65 use physio now compared to the 18 to 30 bracket. And again, that's been replicated across our services. So it's very user friendly and, and can be used by all. We also asked patients what they felt about generally being able to access it at any time of day. So 89% were, were quite positive. I'm unsure why 11% wouldn't want to have access to a service at any time of day or night. But what we found when we broke down those stats a little bit more was that one in three patients using the service actually did so outside of core hours. So your typical physio services might be open nine to five, but one in three people were accessing it outside of those times. So generally getting a greater experience and greater access to services. And of those patients, one in, in five of those actually ended up having an urgent problem, that something that needed to be seen in a more time sensitive manner. And in that regard, it doesn't take a big leap of faith to say where would those patients have went to if, if a technology like Physio and I wasn't available, would they have went to an out of hours service, a walk-in centre or a and &E and put more pressure on already overburdened systems. So by having Physio and I, it, it, it eliminates that and provides more access. We wanted to look then at, at the system benefits that it can bring. So as I mentioned, you can self-refer into Physio and I, uh, and in our pilot, we find that close to a third of, of people actually got into the physio services without needing to see a GP. And that has huge benefits to the system. It, it can allow GPs to better utilize their time to see your more urgent conditions, your, your heart problems, your, your cancers and whatnot, and, and even MSK services to, to be seen by, by physios where, where it's better. And there's a cost saving associated with that with your average GP appointment costing close to the 30 quid. So each pilot patient that, that we found ended up making a 76% saving to the system. And then there's obviously time and environmental savings with all that as well. I'm not going to go through this slide in any great detail, but it just shows you the, the pathways that, that were in existence and then our pathway on the right and some of the time that can be saved by implementing Physio and I within into a service. The box at the bottom will show you some of the time that can be saved by admin and clinical teams. And then if you put that into an efficiency saving, so if a typical service would tend to see about 20,000 uh, referrals a year, and if we go sort of middle of the road, so a 15% self-referral rate, bearing in mind our pilot at 60%, and a 15% self-management rate, per health board you could save just over 200,000, which then if you roll that across Wales, is over a million per annum that could be saved by implementing something like Physio now into the system. So huge benefits that, that can be achieved for everybody. Uh, and some of those things that, that can be realised from those benefits, it, it, you can reduce the waiting list uh, and get people into services quicker uh, and see them more often with better quality care if needed. You can increase your CPD time for your clinical staff so that uh, they're getting the best evidence based sort of education that they can then pass on to their, their patients and help them within the system. It can help with recruitment issues in harder to reach uh, or harder to recruit areas and also it can help uh, services define, develop and expand of, upon what the current the current offerings that they have. So some future developments with Physio now, this type of uh, technology is constantly evolving and developing uh, and self-management will be a big component for us. So, uh, and when we talk about that, we mean your simple ankle sprains, for example, would get a, a suite of rehab exercises that the patient could complete at home along with some support and resources to sort of educate them regarding their condition. Still have some access with the physiotherapist, but not need to come into the system and then that can save a lot of time for admin and for clinicians and regenerate more time into to services. We're also with our tech uh, partner working on making it a more conversational artificial intelligence piece rather than just getting people through the algorithms. So it'll react more to the input that you put into it uh, and, and making it an even more individualistic uh, approach to, to getting your rehab and your care. And what we'd really like to see is, is Physio now 
used it in more health boards across Wales and hopefully through the Bevan type projects with adopt and spread, that might be one option that, that could be looked at. Some wider engagement. So these are just some of the other uh, sort of people that we've been in touch with or, or areas that, that we've spoken about. We, we've had our own webinar, obviously the Bevan one we presented at the All Wales uh, Allied Health Professional uh, Festival as well. So just really trying to get the message about our, our technology out there. Just very briefly at the end, uh, I mentioned at the start I'm from Connect Health. So we work with over 50 clinical commissioning groups or health boards across England, the, the delivering physiotherapy services as well as pain rheumatology, IAP services, and we've been in uh, existence for over 30 years. So a really strong tradition in, in working with health boards and, and with partners across England and, and now Wales to deliver really good care for people. If you did want to find out a little bit more about it, our, my contact details are at the top and then a little bit more about us uh, down at the bottom there as well. And thank you very much for listening and I look forward to any questions that come our way.